Oh no, no, no. Do not be doing this on your Mac. Trust me on this, it'll brick it. Righto, tell the day champs, and I'm gonna show you one thing that you do not wanna do with these M1 Macs. And I'm gonna show you into a secret sort of menu there. I've gotta talk about that first because it'll make no sense on what I'm talking about until I explain what's going on. So, with the M1 Macs, you may realize that some things don't work. Like for example, if I reboot this Mac and I press Option, I will not be able to boot. If I reboot this and I press Command R, I will not be able to get into recovery. I actually returned an M1 Mac. I'll tell you later which one I keep and why. I guess you can guess. There's one thing I do when I always set up a Mac and I set it up with a fresh install or, you know, I download the latest version of the operating system, which in this case is a Big Sur. And there is, what is it now? It's, it's 11.01. And that's the thing. You might think, well, why do you do that? It's a fresh operating system. Why do you, you know, delete the system and start anew? So I'll get into the secret tip here in a sec. And the reason is because when you get the system, you may have to update it already. So... You don't get it with the latest version all the time. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So you got to go in there, you got to update it again. There's all this eye stuff. I don't know if you like it, this eye garage band and eye this, eye that, eye work. Some of it is good, all right? So, for example, I use Keynote, I use Pages, but I don't use garage band or I don't use numbers. I'm allergic to spreadsheets and stuff like that. So there's no point in me having that. And I'd rather start off with a fresh install. Now, as I said, now those buttons don't work, the command R. So if I restart this Mac, the command R won't work. So I'll tell you the trick here. And I'll tell you what not to do because you don't want to do it because you will brick this thing. So let me tell you a story. I go into the Apple store today to return one of those. And as I said before, you probably guess which one and which one I'm going to keep. But we get in there, he goes, oh, I've got to, you know, reset it. I've got to restore it. And Because one of the girls didn't know how to do it because they have to do this as procedure. When it comes in, they wipe your sort of Mac. The guy comes over, he's got this strut on. He's like, yeah, look at me, I'm a genius. And he's like, oh, yeah, you just turn it off and you press command R. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. That's not going to work. So anyway, I just let him do what he had to do because I didn't know if it actually did work or not. I know the way you do it with the M1 Max now. I will tell you how to do that. But anyway, he went to do it, didn't work. And I said, no, you don't do that with the M1 Max. What you actually do is you turn it off, you hold the power button. So even the guys at Apple Store don't even know how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So we're just going to turn it off. And I may have to dim down the lights because for some reason... This Mac will not keep its brightness. I have no idea why. Let's shut it down. I'm going to have to turn off the lights so you can see the screen. All right, so the lights are off now. How romantic. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to hold the power button. So hold it, hold it, hold it. And then you get the dong. And then it says continue holding for startup options. So you continue to hold, obviously. Don't know why I can't get the screen brightness to go up here. This doesn't have a touch bar, so it has dedicated buttons. But it would be nice if I could, you know, turn the brightness up. And there you go. There's the options there. I'm trying to turn up the brightness. Not happening. So now we go into options here. So you've got two options, of course. You can just boot into the hard drive, go Macintosh HD. I will show you how to boot from this later, but stay tuned. There's one thing you don't want to do at the moment. And then you have the other options here, right? So you go to continue here. And then it will go through and it will take you through to recovery. So I've just dimmed down the lights to stop the reflections. So from here, you can go in here to recovery assistant. You can erase Mac or you can find out about it or you can restart or shut down. But anyway, we want to go into the recovery here. Of course, this is just your Mac password there. And here we go. Now, this is a little bit different to what it used to be. You can restore from Time Machine. You can reinstall Mac OS. You can go to Safari or you can go to Disk Utility. Now I want to show you something first, security settings. So start up security settings and now we're going to be prompted for a password. Now you have to actually go into the encrypted hard drive here, which is interesting. I don't think you had to do that before. So let's just do that, put the password in, unlock that sucker. And what I can do now is just go to security policies. Before you used to have four options, I think it was. You had full security, you had medium security and you had no security. Now you've got the option of full security, reduced security, and reduced security allows management of kernel extensions from identified developers, and the other one says allow remote management of kernel extensions automatically and automatic software updates. You might as well just leave that on full, I guess. But you also used to have the option here of boot from external drive. That option has been removed now. 
So that's interesting. So I'll just get out of this and I'll show you how you boot from a drive now. Now here's the salient point here. I'm going to show you how to boot from a drive. As I said before, usually I start with a fresh install. So I'll go into Disk Utility and I'll go inside Disk Utility here. And what I'll do is I'll click on that. I'll go to View All Devices and I'll go right here, right to the source, and then I'll just delete that and then I'll install the fresh copy of Mac OS. Do not do this right now at this moment, okay? This is what I'm talking about. You do this now, you'll brick it. Now this is November, what, 28th or something like that? This may change. Now usually Apple have on their website this little bit of sort of code you punch into, you know, terminal, and it will make a bootable USB for you so you can install the operating system off the USB. I haven't checked today, but the last time I checked, they didn't have it for Big Sur. That made me wonder, why don't they have it for Big Sur yet? Don't they want you to install it off the USB? Do they want you to use this other method, which I'll show you in a sec? But now I can say without a doubt, do not delete this. I don't even know if it's actually even safe to just erase this Macintosh HD here. And yes, it's called HD, even though they're SSDs. But anyway, we'll quit disk utility and I'll show you the way I think they want you to do it now is just go to reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. I don't think they want you to, and you just follow the prompts here, I don't think they want you to boot from USB and install it that way anymore. But I'll show you how you would do it, and what you do here is you agree, whatever, blah, 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 you continue, and then you'd install it on that drive. Now, as I said, people are having issues with this and booting. So at the moment, just be very careful. Just wait until maybe there's some updates. Actually, there was an update to Big Sur. Maybe they fixed it at the moment, but make sure you check. Don't delete the volume, okay? Maybe just go over the top or something like that. But now I'll shut it down and I'll show you. This is a USB stick and I'll plug that USB stick in and that's how I used to do it. I used to make a bootable drive uh, of the operating system, so Big Sur in this case. And what you do is you do that same thing, press in the power button and then hold down for more options, of course. We've you know gone through that. Hold down for more options. More options are loading here. Now something different happens. Now you can see it's different, right? You can boot into the Macintosh hard drive, which will take you just to your Big Sur installation, just or just log into your computer. You can go to those options that I just showed you before, or you can install Big Sur. So I can click on that. Now usually you have to go into that security setting I just showed you before and allow bootable devices, but this one here, it just boots it automatically, right? I haven't done anything to the settings. What I'd usually do is go into those options I showed you before, go into this utility, delete my drive, and then install off this. Again, that is not safe at the moment. You will brick your system. So wait to see what happens there. If you really want to guide how to do it, I'll do it. I'll, I'm willing to risk it to do it. I don't care. I'll just take it into Apple. They can fix it, whatever. If you really want a guide on how to install Mac OS on this or your MacBook Pro 16, like Big Sur and that, from a fresh install I'm talking about, not like going over the top or updating a fresh install, delete the drive, put the new operating system, Big Sur, on your MacBook Pro 16 or these M1 Macs. Let me know down there in the comments and I'll do it. But anyway, don't do it at the moment. You'll break your system. So thought this was interesting. Things have changed. You're not doing the command R anymore and stuff like that. So I hope you found this useful. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.